Hey everyone. So in this video I'm going to explain what you need to do to complete week one assignment one, outlining and paragraph content. All right, um, so first things first, you wanna make sure that you have skimmed over chapters one and two, but more importantly, gone through the material that's and the lessons presented in the week one module before you do this assignment. This assignment is based off of all the material and information that was presented in those lessons in week one, right? Uh, so make sure that you can do the assignment properly. Make sure you go through those lessons. Next thing you want to know is that this is going. This assignment will be um, submitted as a file submission, which means you either need to have it in a Word document, Google Doc, PDF, some other sort of file that you can upload and submit. I have actually attached a file to these instructions. You'll find it down below if you keep scrolling. It'll be there in blue and I think there's a little paper clip icon next to it. Um, but it should say W1A1 underscore outlining and paragraph content. And that file is the assignment sheet. The whole thing. You can open up that file, save it to your device, and use that as your template to type in your answers. And then save it to your device again and upload that file to submit when you're finished. You do not have to do it that way. If you're using Google Docs or you know um, an open document, that sort of thing, there are other ways you can uh, either take the file and convert it to whatever format you need it in, um, you can copy and paste uh, either from the file or the instructions. I have all the questions listed under the instructions under this video. Um, you can copy and paste it into a file if you need to. Um, but the easiest way, if possible, if you're able to do it, is to just use the file that I've attached. Okay. Um, but for this assignment, we're looking at sort of the basics of um, getting started on writing paragraphs standalone single paragraphs, right? So in uh, task one is asking you um, to identify the general idea of a paragraph. It's not gonna look like a paragraph just yet, but that's what we're getting at. So what you have here are four groups of ideas, okay? For each one, you're given the specific ideas that would be included in that paragraph. And underneath those specific ideas, you are given three options for what the overall general idea is. For example, in number one, the specific ideas that would be included in this paragraph are good student reviews, good rapport with colleagues, and excellent class evaluations. So if we know those are the specific ideas that are being discussed, what is more than likely the general idea of this paragraph? Is it teaching at a community college? So if that's our overall general idea, do those three specific ideas match up? Do, do they make sense if that's our general idea? Is it reasons teaching is an important profession, right? So if the general idea of this paragraph is, you know, reasons why teaching is an important profession, does it make sense that our specific main ideas in the paragraph would be good student reviews, good rapport with colleagues, and excellent class evaluations? Or would it be option three or option C, reasons a teacher might be rehired? Is that our general idea? And then do those specific ideas match up? Does it make sense? That's the idea here, though. You're looking at those specific ideas. Those would be the main examples being used in the paragraph. Based on those main examples, what do you think the overall general idea is of this paragraph? That's what you're trying to figure out. So for each one, you've got you know, options to choose from. Choose the option that you think makes the most sense as the general idea of that paragraph. Task two is very
very similar, except this time you don't have any general ideas to choose from. You have to figure it out and state it yourself. So, for instance, number one in task two, the specific ideas, the main examples in this paragraph are going to be empathetic, loyal, kind, supportive. Based on those specific examples, what do you think the general idea of that paragraph is? Now you have to actually come up with it on your own and type it out on the line, right? Number two, the specific ideas are losing weight, exercising more, eating more fruits and vegetables, eating fewer fast food meals. If those are our specific main ideas in the paragraph, what is the the overall general idea of this paragraph. Type it on the line, right? And you'll do that for three and four there in task two. Task three is a little different. Task three, you're going to be outlining a paragraph. You're going to be looking at all the different sentences that are going to go into this paragraph, and you're going to figure out the order of them, right? How to, how, how to group them together. So you've got your topic sentence there. Implementing year-round school would benefit society. That's the focus of this paragraph, our topic sentence. Below that topic sentence, you've got a handful of ideas, and they're just listed, one right after another. There's no rhyme or reason to how they're listed. It's just these are all the ideas that are going to go in this paragraph. Your job is to look at those bulleted ideas and figure out how to group them. What would be the first main idea that would go first on line A? And then what are the two supporting ideas that go with that main idea? Put those on lines one and two. What is another main idea that's being discussed in this paragraph? Write it on line B. What are the two supporting ideas from the list that go with what you put on line B? Type those on lines one and two. And then there's a third main idea from the list of sentences. Put that on line C and figure out which two supporting examples go with it and type them on lines one and two. So basically what you have here is you have a, 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 an idea for a paragraph. The main idea is how implementing year-round school would benefit society. There's three ways it would benefit society. What are those three ways? Those three ways go on lines A, B, and C, because those are our three main ideas. Our first main idea, whatever we put on line A, there are two supporting ideas that go with that. That's what go on lines one and two there with A. For the second reason that year-round school might benefit society, there are also two supporting ideas that go with it. Those go on lines one and two with B. For the third reason that year-round school would benefit society. There are two supporting ideas that go with it. That's what you would put on lines one and two with C. So you're taking the ideas and you're outlining them. You're grouping together main ideas and supporting examples uh, in the way, the most logical way. Okay? So just give all of this your best shot, right? If, if you're off the mark, you're still going to get all the points if you tried, and then you'll get feedback from me letting you know what you missed. Okay? Just give it your best shot. If you have any questions, um, you know, if this explanation here was a little confusing for you, reach out to me and I will try to walk you through it again or, you know, find a different way of explaining it to you, whatever it takes. Okay? But don't put too much pressure on yourself. Try, give it your best shot, but it's okay if you're not right, okay? All right, so remember it's due Sunday at 11.59.
Um, if you have any questions or run into any problems, please let me know.